Hare Krishna. Today we plan to discuss verse 25th of chapter 1 from the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Sanskrit verse is as follows. Bhishma Drona Pramuktaha Sarveshamcha Mahishitam Ovacha Partha Pashetan Sama Vetan Kurun Iti. The translation is as follows. In the presence of Bhishma, Drona and all the other chieftains of the world, the Lord said, Just behold, Parth, all the Kurus assembled here. In the Bhagavad Gita's first chapter, Krishna speaks only once, that is in this verse. O Parth, behold the Kurus assembled on the battlefield. Krishna wanted Arjun to behold not just Kauravas in general, but to focus in particular on Bhishma and Drona. Both of them, Bhishma and Drona, were especially dear and venerable for Arjun, thus triggering Arjuna's emotional connect and subsequent questions. Today, our focus lies on the contrast between superficial temporary pleasures versus our genuine eternal joy. Krishna imparts numerous lessons through Arjun's experiences. Arjun, upon encountering Drona and Bhishma, becomes perplexed. This movement underscores the powerful illusion cast by the eyes which can bewilder us. When we gaze upon the attractions of the world, we may think there is so much pleasure here. I just need to acquire it. I have to work hard, make arrangements and then I can enjoy. This creates the illusion that pleasure is easily attainable. On the flip side, there is the illusion of Krishna's remoteness. We may perceive him as distant and irrelevant to our practical lives. We tend to believe that worldly pleasures are real and within reach, while Krishna seems far away. These illusions can lead us away from Krishna, entangling us deeper into the web of Maya, the illusion. Therefore, it's crucial to exercise caution, develop spiritual intelligence, and cultivate discrimination. By doing so, we can navigate safely in times of difficulty. We often attempt to observe, analyze, and resolve challenges independently, mirroring Arjun's approach. Krishna allows us to follow our desires, but just as Krishna illumined Arjun, he is ready to illumine us too through Gita's message, thereby equipping us to act more wisely. Hare Krishna! If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and leave your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, subscribe for more content on health and lifestyle.